and welcome to your fourth and fifth grade science class. Today, we are still discussing earth science. Our focus today is what is climate? Our learning target for today will focus on winds and clouds in the atmosphere interacting with the landforms to determine patterns of weather. So let's review earth spheres. We have the geosphere, the hydrosphere, the biosphere, and the atmosphere. Which interactions affect the weather and climate? Hmm. Well, the hydrosphere and the atmosphere. Weather and climate. Average weather. The words weather and climate do not have the same definitions. The difference between climate and weather is the time interval. Weather describes the condition of the atmosphere at a single point in time. Weather is described as changing over short periods of time, such as minutes to weeks. Climate describes the average patterns of weather over longer time periods. This could be months, decades, or longer. Climate includes information such as the average amount of precipitation, the average temperature, and how much the temperature changes over time. What is a climate region? The United States is a large country with a range of climates. Climate and plants are related. Plants grow best in certain types of climates. Remember this when we start talking about ecosystems. If we plant tropical plants in northern states, the plants will freeze and die during the winter. Plants that grow well in the north might die in warm areas. Plants that live for many years, such as trees, depend on the climate. Plants that live only for a season are less dependent on the climate. Latitude. This is one factor that affects the climate of the place. Latitude is a measure of how far a place is from the equator. Latitude is measured in degrees starting at zero at the equator. Energy from the sun hits Earth's surfaces more directly at the equator. An area closer to the equator is usually hotter than places that are farther away. There are three major zones of climate according to latitude. The tropical zone extends from 23.5 degrees south to 23.5 degrees north latitude. This zone contains the equator. Here, the sun's energy hits most directly all year. The tropical zone is usually warm. The north and south poles are generally quite cold. The polar zones receive energy from the sun less directly than the tropical zone. The polar zones extend from 66.5 degrees to 90 degrees north and from 66.5 degrees to 90 degrees south. The temperate zones lie between the polar and tropical zones. Most of the United States is in the temperate zone. Here, energy from the sun is more direct during the summer. This causes the temperature to be higher. The sun's energy is less direct in the winter. This causes winters to be colder. Bodies of water. The ocean can affect the climate. It can slow the rise and fall of air temperature. Remember that bodies of water become warmer and cool more slowly than land. Therefore, Air temperature changes more quickly inland than near water. In the winter, large beaches often do not get as cold as areas just a few miles inland. 
In the summer, the air over beaches is often cooler than air over areas inland. Ocean currents can make a climate warmer or cooler. The Gulf Stream and the North Atlantic Drift are large currents that carry warm water northward. The water warms the winds above it. These winds make Northern Europe's climate much warmer than it would be otherwise. A change in these currents could change the climate of Europe. On the other hand, cold currents that flow from Alaska to California make that coastal climate cooler. Elevation. Mountain ranges may have different climates than areas around them. Higher land is cooler because in the lower part of the atmosphere temperature, it decreases with increased elevation. Elevation is the height above sea level. Areas of opposite sides of a mountain range can have very different climates. This happens because the air does not have much moisture in it by the time it reaches the other side. And we have reached the end of this lesson. Have a great day.